The marsh taught me how to survive, but it couldn't teach me everything. You can't live alone in the marsh forever. Watch me. All right. Now this gave me all the vibes of like the notebook, but with a twist. And we can't talk about the twist, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> It was so intense at the end, but um, I thought there were also a lot of like great messages in it in terms of like, you know, don't judge other people. So could you guys talk about that message? Yeah, yeah, no, that is definitely a, an aspect of the film that I also, and the story that I connected with, you know, Kaya is a central character. She's ostracized by the, the, you know, the people in the local town and she grows up in this marsh from a very young age and and, and it's a very hostile environment. And and I think you really see the effect of, of the kindness that of certain people, you know, on, on, on who it who it, who she then becomes, you know, Tate teaching her to read and and jumping to Mabel looking out for her it has such a ripple on effect, uh, and and means she's able to survive in this environment and ultimately thrive. And I think it, the film really celebrates, you know, the small acts of kindness that can really change a person's life for the better. Mm. Well, Taylor, maybe you can talk a little bit about um, the fact that the movie kind of shows like what true love is, opposed to like kind of just lust or whatever. Can you talk more about that? I know that's kind of a intense question but. um well I, I think it's a it's kind of a direct representation of, of you know nature there's there's two different um you know characters two different men um they're both complicated themselves even tate makes mistakes a big mistake when he doesn't come back for her um but there's like a carnal relationship i think that kaya has with chase and then like a a first uh love kind of an innocence friendship that she has with uh with tate and so um getting to explore both sides of, of masculinity on the spectrum, but realizing that, that none of them are perfect, um, uh, is, a you know, also a kind of theme in this, in this movie. And it also talks about being brave. And I thought it was like such a cute line that she's like, God doesn't tell us to be careful. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, we got to go out there and do what we need to do. And, um, can either of you, um, kind of expand more on that, that theme? Yeah, well, I think I think you know Kaya is an incredibly brave character, and I think you know we we've talked about it, but you know, so often superhero films are you know are are men with capes, and and this is a story about a young woman and her ability to you know get up again after knock after knock, and I think um, that she is a sort of superhero in her own way, and I think um, it's really lovely to see real real humans uh, you know in an environment that is you know not always very forgiving, um, you know, overcome their their circumstance. Oh, Daisy, I read that you even um, studied art before doing it and you were studying, obviously studying the accents and stuff, but I think it's so cool that you even delved into learning to draw a little bit. I just wanted an excuse, I think, to be like, ah, let's go drawing. So, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm particularly good at drawing in any way. Uh, I will write a doodling, but, um, but no, we had an amazing artist who who did most of Kaya's drawing called Kirby, and, um, you know, she was going out to to draw some shells, and I was like, can I come? So I drew some things, and she bought me some watercolors, and I tried to learn, and you know, again, I'm not very good, but, um, but it was really fun just to to sort of have a go at it. And then perfecting the accent is probably a really big deal. Totally. It was really important that that, that was an authentic sound and it didn't take you out. It would have been odd if Kaya had a North London accent for sure. <laughs> um, so definitely getting that right was really important. And um, and yeah, we all had to um, to, to, try and, to try and get it right. And uh, we had a great uh, accent coach called Francie who was able to kind of guide us as we went. And yeah, just I listened and listened and listened to different examples of it to try and tune my ear to it. Now, now, in terms of both of your your relationships in the movie, um, you have to kind of learn, well, Taylor, your character has to say, you know, ask for forgiveness and Daisy, your character has to like, you know, learn how to forgive. Um, and I think that's kind of a powerful thing to learn. So um, can you expand on that thought? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, nobody's perfect. Even Tate, who's supposed to be like the good guy in this film, um, ends up... Um, leaving thinking that his his life would be better out in the you know the the busy um the busy world um but as soon as he leaves i think he starts to to realize that the things that matter most are relationships and i don't think he would ever have that kind of relationship with another human being that he had with kaya and so um he comes to his senses and comes back but you know kaya's right to to be cautious of him and make him really work for it because he did um he did break her heart and as, as one of the only people that you know, I think really loved her. Uh, and uh, I think he spends the rest of his life trying to ask for forgiveness and make it, make it up. 
It's a dangerous world, isn't it? I don't know if there is a dark side to nature. Just inventive ways to endure. Against all odds.